Hi friends, in the coming few videos we will discuss regarding the game theory. So first of all what game theory is? We all know that it's a world of competition. So whenever two people compete for a particular outcome, we may, can make use of game theory. So it is another component of decision making. Whenever a person wants to make a decision, he or she can make use of game theory. So here different type of principles are applied and the gain of the competitor is the loss of another competitor. So the maximum minimax principle applies in game theory. So while applying the game theory, generally there are two types of games that we will come across. First is games with the pure strategies and the games with the mixed strategies. To solve the game with the pure strategies, we always apply the principle of maximum is equal to minimax. And while going for the games with mixed strategies, we have another n number of methods which we, with which we can solve our games. So now let us discuss these methods with the help of practical questions in the further videos. First of all, we will start this video with the first method of game theory that is games with the pure strategies and how we can make use of maximum and minimax principle. Now the games with pure strategies are also known as two persons zero sum game. Here we what we do is we try to find out the saddle point and uh, when we try to find out the saddle point that is done with the help of row minima and column maxima principle that is why it is also known as max, minimax is equal to maximum principle. So the practical question regarding this is in this question we have two players player x and player y player x has two strategies x1 and x2 while player y has three strategies y1 y2 and y3 you have to remember this point that the player on this side that is x player is always the maximizing player and the player on the above here in this question is y he is the minimizing player so player x can choose x1 strategy or x2 strategy player y can choose y1 y2 y3 any of these three strategies now if you want to apply the zero sum game method or pure strategy method what we will do is we have to go ahead with the principle row minima which should be equal to column maxima. So row wise we will always see the minimum value and column wise we will always see the maximum value. For row minima we will put a circle on the element and for column maxima we will put a square on the element. So, right? so now we will look at this question. We have to start with row wise. In the first row which one is the minimum element? This. So we will put a circle over here because row minima. In the second row, which one is the minimum? 10. So, row minima is the circle. Then you have to go with the column maxima. In the first column, which one is maximum? This. So, we will put a square on it. Column maxima with a square. And here, which one is higher? We will put a square on it. Which one is higher? We will put a square on it. So, whenever the circle and the square come on one element, it becomes your saddle point. That is the value of game. It may exist or it may not exist in any question. So if it exists like there is one element on which circle and square come. It means this is the game with the pure strategy. We need not proceed further and here only we will find the solution. So here we will write yes the game has a saddle point. So whenever a game has a saddle point that is called value of game. And we denote it with, with capital V. You can write fully value of game is equal to 10 or you can write v is equal to 10. So if v is equal to 10, x is choosing x2 strategy and y is choosing y3 strategy. So we will write here x will choose x2 strategy same way y will choose y3 strategy. So this will become your answer. So you have to write the strategies as well. Value of game and the strategies we will have to write. While in some games this saddle point may not exist, those questions will not be solved with the pure strategy and we have to go ahead with the mixed strategy that we will uh, discuss in the further videos. Let us see one more question that will clarify you with the pure strategy problem. In this question there are two competing forms P and Q, uh, those who want to maximize their sales. Now P is choosing three strategies, maybe the first strategy is regarding the home delivery service. The second strategy is regarding the mail order service. The third strategy is regarding giving the free gifts. 
and Q also have three strategies. Q may be going with the advertisement in the radio, magazine, newspapers like this. So we have to tell which strategy will be best for both the players. Right. So first of all, in every question, we will check whether this is a game of pure strategy or not. So in the first row, we will have to locate which one is the minimum minus two minus four. Of course, this is the minimum here. The minimum is one row minima circle here. The minimum is minus five. This is row minima circle. Now we will do column wise column wise maximum is one other both are of negative values here. The maximum is 12 and here the maximum is eight. So we have to see whether there is a saddle point, whether circle and square are coming on one element. Yes, these are coming on here. So this will become our saddle point. The game has a saddle point S A D D D L E. The game have a saddle point and this is the saddle point where value of game is one. So which strategy P will choose? Of course, P will choose P2 strategy and Q will choose Q1 strategy. So this will become our answer value of game. Now the presentation of this question can be done in another way. Let's see how we can write it. So see how we can present this answer in another way. First of all, you will make one column over here and that will be known as row minima. So instead of putting a circle, now we are going to select which one is the minimum value. So out of this first row, minus four is the minimum value. Out of this second row, one is the minimum value and out of this third row minus five is the minimum value. Now here we will write another row. How we have written here row minima we will write here column maxima. So column wise we have to take maximum. So which one is the maximum value? Of course one is the maximum value. Here the maximum is 12 and here the maximum is 8. So now what we have to do is out of this now this has become one column we have to choose the maximum element now this is the maximum element we will call it maximin what does this show out of minimum values chosen we are again taking the maximum value now from here this was the maximum value out of this we have to choose now the minimum value because this has become a row now so we have to choose the minimum value i can see this is the minimum value and we will call it mini max. It means out of the minimum value selected. Now out of the maximum value selected, we are taking the minimum value. So how you have to read it? You have to read it from the back out of the minimum value. Now we are taking the maximum value out of the maximum value. Now we are taking the minimum value. So if both these values are same, we will say yes, maximum is equals to minimax both are same yes maximum is equal to minimax hence the value of game in the question comes out to be one and if value of game is one p will be choosing p2 strategy q will be choosing q1 strategy this will become our answer so this is the way how you can present the answer in the same manner that is why this method is also known as maximum minimax method